Spring is upon us. Here's my list of 2019 designer fragrances top 10. If you're really interested, stay right there. Hello fragrance family, welcome back to NYC Fragrances. I'm Joe as you know, and this is going to be my top 10 designer list for spring 2019. I'm also going to come out with a niche list and a cheapy list, so stay tuned to the channel. If you're subscribed, you'll get the notifications. If you're not subscribed, please do so, and you'll get all of my content. So, my top 10 list. Now, these are the bottles that I have in my collection. Again, this is in my opinion and based on what I have in my collection. This doesn't mean these are the very best, but they work for me. They are good fragrances, and I hope that you find ones in this list that you will enjoy as well. So here we go. At number 10, I have a good office fragrance. Comes in pretty cheap as well now, because there's a newer version of it out. But I still think this one will work for you as far as an everyday office fragrance. And that is Coach for Men. Coach for Men is just a simple, clean fragrance that you can wear to work. Non-offensive, like I said, cheap and versatile pretty much for all seasons, but I have it as a spring fragrance, so it's on my list at number 10. At number 9, I have a, another fragrance that I consider to be somewhat clean and fresh, more gentlemanly speaking. And that is Dior Eau Sauvage. Dior Eau Sauvage is one of those muskier, cleaner, fougere maybe type fragrances. Not your, maybe from an older type of uh, blend, not your more modern takes on fragrances, but I still think it's a good fragrance to have for spring. And number eight. A very underrated fragrance, in my opinion, from the house of Mont Blanc, and that is Legend Spirit. Legend Spirit, I wore, I remember the work the first time, and I got a ton of compliments from it. And to be honest with you, it's been mentioned in some videos, but I don't really see it getting much love. And I really like it. I really like to. Use, I really can't wait wait to wear it for the spring and the summer. It is a very versatile fragrance. It's also a cheap one as well. So it makes for a good entry to this designer list at, at number eight. At number seven, probably the most underrated in the line of this line of fragrances, I have Guerlain L'Homme Ideal Cologne. This fragrance doesn't get as much hype as the perfume version or the EDP version but this one I just find to be totally different than those it has its own vibe it has a freshness to it it's a, to me it is a spring fragrance it's another one easy to wear a lot of these are very good for office they are not really offensive fragrances they're very fresh they're very light and this one plays right into that so again Guerlain Ideal at my number seven spot my number six spot, a fragrance that probably will say, well, how is this at number six? This is one that garners a lot of compliments. It's had a lot of popularity. It's been popular for the last few years. Well, for me in my collection, I don't reach for it as much as some of the ones below it or will be reaching for some of the ones below it. I do like the fragrance profile, don't get me wrong, but it's just not something that I really, really, really want to wear all the time although it is a very good fragrance and I feel that it should be on this list. So at number six, I'm talking about Dior Sauvage. So you all know pretty much the whole story behind Dior Sauvage. You've heard many reviews about it. You've heard how it's a compliment getter and so on and so on and so on. It's a very versatile fragrance and I think that it's something that deserves to be on this list. So it's on the designer list for spring at number six, Dior Sauvage. At number five, another talked about fragrance, another one that's been on many lists and probably has moved up or lower, I should say, rather into the list because I had it higher up on previous list, 
but here I have it at number five, and that is Versace's Man O Fresh. Versace Man O Fresh, a beautiful, clean, citrus fragrance that you can wear. It's got good performance. It comes in very cheap. I think it's deserving of being on this list and deserving of being in anyone's collection if you don't already have it. So at number five, Versace's Man O Fresh. Now, my number four is a recent find of mine, but since I do love the note of bergamot, and for me, citruses are spring and summer, florals are spring and summer, this definitely has it. Now this is classified as a woman's fragrance, but I don't see it that way at all. I see myself wearing this without any issue. It's a clean, fresh floral citrus, and it is also from the house of Guerlain, and is from their Aqua Allegoria line, and it's called Bergamot Calabria. Check that bottle out. Pretty bottle, right? This fragrance is, again, another fresh one, citrus, florals. Comes in at a good price point as well. I picked it up recently, and I have to say, I am very impressed by it. And it was actually a blind buy based on the note profile is what made me buy it. And you know what? Sometimes I don't recommend blind buys, but on things like this, when I see certain notes and certain profiles, I think I can get away with buying it blind and still enjoying it. And I happen to be lucky in this case. So at number three now, I have a beautiful office fragrance. It has Neroli. It has Vetiver. It has almost a similar profile to Ted de Hermes. You've heard about it before. You've seen it before. And it is Dunhill Icon. This fragrance, for whatever reason, it's a cheap one too. It just works for me. It lasts long on me. The projection, the sillage, the way it changes through the wearing, I just really enjoy it. I, I believe that it deserves to, to be at number three because of what it brings to the table. So, and the price point. So, now I'm down to my last two. This is where it gets interesting. Probably two fragrances that may be controversial, may not be controversial, but anyway. At number two, I have Mugler's Crypto Mint. Now, Crypto Mint for me is basically the replacement for Ultra Zest because Ultra Zest is now discontinued or hard to find. I do own a bottle of it. I was able to get a bottle of it, but that scent profile is no longer in the Mugler line. Crypto Mint is probably the closest thing, just with an amplified mint note, obviously. But it still has the regular Amen base, along with some citrus in behind it. And it makes for a very pleasant fragrance. And it has, again, good performance on my skin. Comes in at a good price point, And it lasts long. And at number two, that's Mugler's Crypto Mint. So the number one on my top ten designer list for spring 2019 is... You ready for this one? Hermes Eau de Citron Noir. Now this line of Hermes fragrances, out of all the fragrances in this line, this one is the only one that is not largely discounted. The other ones in this line you could find down at $40, $50 price range. This one's still selling close to $100 even at discounted prices. It's probably the best made and the most well-made one of the line. The citrus, that aromatic tea note, it is more of a considered a nighttime fragrance. I don't see it that way, obviously, to make it my number one on the list. I think this is the prettiest out of all the fragrances on this list. The best sillage that I get when I wear it. It's one of those fragrances that's very uplifting when you put it on. And that's why it's at my number one. So, I'm going to link all these fragrances down below. Please like, share. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't and stay tuned to this channel because we're going to do top 10 niche and we're going to do top 10 cheapies for spring. So remember, if you smell good, you feel good. Have a nice day.